Good morning. How are you? How are you, friends? My name's Miss Monica. What's your name? Oh, well, I'm so happy you decided to come to Circle Time today. Oh, did you hear that? Listen, listen. Put on your listening ears. I think I hear our good morning train coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing purple. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing blue. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends wearing pink. Choo, choo. Hello. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing orange. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing green. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing yellow. Choo, choo. Hello. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends wearing black. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing white. Choo, choo. Hello. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing brown. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing red. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends. And we'll say hello to everyone that's come to Circle. Choo, choo. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Circle Time. I'm so happy you're all here today. And thank you. Good morning, train. Oh, my friends, we have so much to do today. Why don't we start with our days of the week? We need to find out what day it is today. Now let's head over to our Circle Time board so we can get started. There is so much to do today. But first, I need to find my... P -p 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 hmm, what's that? What is that thing that I use to review our circle time board? It sounds like p -p pointer. That's right. The p, p sound is the first letter in p pointer. Thank you, friends, for helping me with my pointer. This is my circle time pointer, so I can review the circle time board and point to all the skills and things that we're going to be doing, like days of the week. Let's get started with our days of the week. Remember, when we sing days of the week, you can clap your hands, you can snap your fingers, or you can just sing whatever you choose. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. One more time. There's Sunday and it's Monday. There's Tuesday and it's Wednesday. There's Thursday and it's Friday. And then it's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 We did it. And now we still need to find out what day it is today. Follow our pointer back to the board. Do, 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 do. Oh, yesterday was Monday. Can you say Monday? Great. Yesterday was Monday. Let's go down one. Do, 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 do. Oh, today is Tuesday. Can you say Tuesday? <gasps> yes. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Yes, today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Yes! Yes, my friends, today is Tuesday. T for Tuesday. T Tuesday. Can you say Tuesday again? That's right, Tuesday. Let's put it on the board. We'll put it up here. Now, let's read the sentence together. It says, today is Tuesday. Let's read it one more time. Today is Tuesday. It sure is. It's Tuesday. Now, remember, follow the pointer. Follow the pointer down. 
Now we need to find out what's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather out today? Is it sunny, is it cloudy, is it raining out today? What's the weather where you live? You may have to go look out your window and then come back and tell me what you see. I'll give you some time. Are you back? Great! What did you see? What's the weather where you live? I'm listening. Ooh. Really? Ooh. Well, thank you for sharing what the weather is where you live. Now it's my turn. Actually, our turn to do this together. We need to find out what the weather is here, where I live, and where the Circle Time classroom is. Let's head to our imaginary window. We'll go over to the imaginary window, use our imaginations, and look and think of what the weather is. Let's see what we can find. Come on over, let's go together. Okay, we're at our imaginary window. Look at this. My friends, look out the imaginary window. What do you see? What's the weather today? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is it sunny out today? Oh, if you said sunny, I agree. It looks like it's a sunny day here in the Circle Time classroom. It's a sunny day outside. Now we need to find a picture that represents a sunny day. Let's find this picture together. Okay, let's get our weather pictures and let's find the picture together. Oh, my friends, I found a few pictures here. Let's see which one represents the sunny day, since it's a sunny day outside. Is it this one? What do you think? Is this a sunny day picture? Yes or no? No. If you said no, you're correct. This is a rainy day picture, so we don't want that one. We'll save that one for a rainy day. Ooh, how about this picture? Is this a sunny day picture? Oh, no, it's not. This is a partly sunny or partly cloudy day. Some people say partly cloudy, some people say partly sunny. The sun and the clouds are out together, but today is just a sunny day. So we'll save this one for another day. Oh, I think I have one more. How about this one? Is this a sunny day picture? You can say yes or no. If you said yes, you're correct. This is our sunny day picture. Let's put it on the board. Okay, we'll put it right here. And now our picture, or actually our sentence says, the weather is sunny. Let's read it together, come on. The weather is sunny. Yes, it is. It's a sunny day and it's warm outside. Now let's help our friend Bear Bear or Weather Bear. We'll help him get ready for this sunny, warm day. How about we start with his shoes? Oh, Bear Bear, you need some shoes. It's a warm day, a sunny day. Should he put on his snow boots or his sneakers? Which one? You can point. Snow boots or sneakers? Ah, if you said sneakers, I agree. How about we save the snow boots for a snowy day and we'll put on his red sneakers. Yes, there you go, Bear Bear. And now he's going to need something to wear like shorts or pants, but today we have blue jeans or blue pants. Can we put these on? Great, okay, Bear Bear. Here you are, Bear Bear. Now, he needs something up top. Maybe he should wear, oh, a green coat or a red shirt. What do you think? It's warm outside, so should he wear a coat or just a shirt, the t-shirt? If you said red t-shirt, I agree. Yes, why don't we save the coat for a day that's a little bit chilly and we'll put on his red t-shirt. Here you are. Our bear bear. Now, it's sunny outside. We saw the sun shining bright. Maybe he can put on some glasses. Oh, but he doesn't have any glasses. Bear bear, you don't have glasses. So what else could he wear that can cover the sun and protect his eyes? What do you think? Something that goes on his 
head. Yes, something that goes on his head. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, my friends, I have a rain hat and I have a blue cap. Which one do you think he should put on? Blue cap or rain hat? You can point or you can say it aloud. What do you think? Ah, if you said blue cap, I agree. How about we save the rain hat for a rainy day and we put on his blue cap? Good idea. Okay, here you are, Bear Bear. And now one more thing. He needs something to put his toys in and his books because Bear Bear loves to read books. What should we give him? What can he put them in? B, B, backpack. Yes, backpack or book bag, good idea. And guess what? We have his blue backpack. All right, let's give him his backpack. Here you are. Bear Bear is ready for the day. Thank you for helping me. You're such a great helper. Now, my friends, we did our days of the week and our weather. We helped Bear Bear get ready for the day. Now let's go down to our letter of the week. Who remembers? Who remembers what the letter of the week is? What the letter of the week is? Who remembers? Who remembers what the letter of the week is? What the letter of the week is? Do you remember what the letter of the week is? If you do, shout it out. I'm listening. Oh, ooh, some of you do remember. Now remember, our letter of the week is the letter that comes after J. Yesterday, we sang the alphabet all the way up to letter J, and then we figured out what came next. Why don't we try that again? You ready? Let's sing the alphabet. And when we get to J, we're going to slow down so we can figure out what comes next. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. L M N O P. Let's finish. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now we know our ABCs. Thanks so much for singing with me. <laughs> now, my friends, we figured out after J comes K. Can you say K? Letter K. This is uppercase K, lowercase K. This is like the big K, and this is like the little K or the baby K. Uppercase, lowercase. Every letter makes a sound, and K says K, 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 K. That's right, that's our K. K for kangaroo, K, kangaroo. K for K, koala. K for K, kite. There. That's letter K. So many things start with letter K. If you could think of some things that start with letter K, I want you to remember them for circle time tomorrow, okay? All right, let's put letter K on the board. Oops, we'll put it right here, K. And don't forget, which one is the uppercase and which one is the lowercase? That's the big K and the baby K. Uppercase, lowercase. All right, everyone. Follow the pointer. We did our letter of the week. Let's go down to the shape of the week. Ooh, who remembers what the shape of the week is? Yesterday, we even drew the shape in the air. We took our pointer fingers and we started at the top. Why don't we try it again today? And maybe you'll remember what our shape of the week is. Okay, point your fingers up. Everyone point your fingers up. And if you can't put your pointer finger up, that's okay, you can watch. Point your finger up and let's go around and back to the top. Great, let's do it one more time. Ready, point your fingers up and around and back to the top. Do you remember the shape? What shape did we just make? Oh, the shape of the week is a circle. Can you say circle? Circle, yes, shape of the week is a circle. The circle goes around and it goes back to the top. Or it can keep going around and around and around. It has no sides. Circles have no sides. This is our shape of the week. What looks like a circle around your home? You may have to look around your home and try to find something that has this shape, the circle shape. 
when I look around my home, I can see a donut. <laughs> I have a donut on my refrigerator. It's not a real donut, it's a pretend donut, but it's shaped like a circle. It goes around and around and around. Oh, circles also remind me of cookies. Some cookies are shaped like a circle. Or have you ever seen a pizza pie? Not a slice of pizza, but a pizza pie. Pizza pies are shaped like a circle. There are lots of different things, even some pillows, tires, wheels are shaped like circles. So I want you to look around your home and see if you can find something that is shaped like a circle. Great, don't do it now, you can do it later. After circle time is finished, you look around and see how many things you can find that are shaped like a circle. Okay, great. Let's put circle on the board. Oops, we'll put it here. Shape of the week. That's our shape of the week. Now, my friends, let's move over to numbers. It's time for us to count. And this week, we're counting from one all the way through number 10. You've been doing great. Yesterday, we did it. Today, we're going to count. And after that, I have something special for us to count as well. So let's first count together from one to 10. Let's start slow, and then we'll speed it up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit faster and louder. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And faster. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You did it. Great job. Great counting. Now, my friends, I put something here. Do you know what these are? You see my little special pictures I put? These are colored pencils. Pencils. Now, lots of us use pencils to write, practice our tracing and our writing, but today we're going to count the pencils. Now, I'm going to point with my pointer, and you can point at home. Every time I touch a pencil, I'm going to say the number. So we're going to count and say the number only when the pointer touches a pencil. Can you count with me? Let's do it together. You can point at home. I'll use the pointer here. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pencils. We have ten pencils. Okay, we're going to try it again. Let's count one more time. And remember, only say the number when the pointer touches the pencil. You can point at home to the pencils you see here on the board. And after circle time, you can count something that you have at home. Maybe pencils or crayons or markers or whatever you have. Okay, let's try it again. Follow the pointer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many pencils do we have? We have ten pencils. Great counting. Now, which one of these numbers is number 10? Hmm, let's see. Is this number 10? No. Is this number 10? No. How about this one? Yes, this is number 10. We have 10 pencils and you help me count them. Thank you so much, my friends. You're a great counter. Now, my friends, it's time for us to sing our circle time song. So we're going to head over to the desk so we can sing our circle time song because we finished our entire circle time board. So come on over. Okay, my friends, it's time for us to sing our circle time song. Now remember yesterday we started a new song called the name song or the name letter song because you have to listen for the first letter in your name. Just like my name is Monica, that's my first name, I'm listening for letter M, M for Monica. What's the first letter in your name? Ah, great. Well, you have to listen for that letter. And remember, when I call your letter out, you get to clap your hands two times like this. One, two, 
One, two, and if you want, you can even use an instrument. I'm going to use a bell. If you don't have anything at home to use, it's okay. You can just clap your hands. So when I say, if your name starts with M, clap your hands, you just clap. One, two. Are you ready to give it a try? Okay, I know you're ready. Let's have fun with this, and we will keep on practicing all week. So my friends, get ready, get ready. Here we go. Remember everyone, listen for the first letter in your name. If your name starts with A, clap your hands. If your name starts with B, clap your hands. If your name starts with C, or D, or E, or F. If your name starts with G, clap your hands. If your name starts with H, clap your hands. If your name starts with I, clap your hands. If your name starts with J, or K, or L, or M. If your name starts with N, clap your hands. If your name starts with O, clap your hands. If your name starts with P, clap your hands. If your name starts with Q, or R, S, or T. If your name starts with U, clap your hands. If your name starts with B, clap your hands. If your name starts with W, clap your hands. If your name starts with X, or Y, or Z, clap your hands. Clap your hands! My friends, thank you. Oh, did you hear the first letter in your name? I hope you did. I heard my M. Oh, we'll keep on practicing that song. So much fun. I love that song. Thank you all so much for coming to Circle Time. I had so much fun with you. Now, my friends, it's time for us to say goodbye, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, friends.